Hi. Welcome back to the hsebox.com channel. This is a series of videos in which we answer 10 questions related to health, safety, and the environment. Please subscribe to our channel and enable the notifications bell so you can be alerted whenever we post a new video. In this video, we will talk about the difference between safety officers and safety engineers. Let's get started. Safety officers and safety engineers play critical roles in ensuring workplace safety and promoting a healthy work environment. While their responsibilities may vary depending on the country or region, it is essential to understand the key differences between these roles to effectively manage workplace safety. We will explore 10 questions and answers related to the differences in responsibilities between a safety officer and a safety engineer, taking into consideration possible variations in different countries. Question number one, what is the primary responsibility of a safety officer? A safety officer is responsible for developing, implementing, and managing safety policies, procedures, and programs to ensure compliance with relevant laws, regulations, and standards. They conduct risk assessments, inspections, and audits, provide safety training to employees, and investigate accidents and incidents to identify root causes and implement corrective actions. Question number two, what are the key responsibilities of a safety engineer? A safety engineer, on the other hand, focuses on designing, analyzing, and improving systems, processes, and equipment to eliminate or minimize hazards and risks in the workplace. They work closely with other engineers and stakeholders to identify potential safety issues, develop engineering controls, and ensure that equipment and systems meet safety standards and guidelines. Question number three, how do the qualifications and certifications differ for safety officers and safety engineers? The qualifications and certifications for safety officers and safety engineers may vary depending on the country or region. In some countries, safety officers may need to have specific certifications such as Certified Safety Professional, CSP, Occupational Health and Safety Technician, OHST, or National Examination Board in Occupational Safety and Health, NEBOSH, certification. Safety engineers, on the other hand, may need to have an engineering degree and relevant certifications such as Certified Safety Professional, CSP, Certified Industrial Hygienist, CIH, or Professional Engineer, PE, certification. Question number four, what are the typical tasks performed by a safety officer? Typical tasks performed by a safety officer may include conducting safety inspections and audits, developing safety policies and procedures, conducting safety training, investigating accidents and incidents, maintaining safety records, analyzing safety data, and liaising with regulatory agencies to ensure compliance with safety regulations. Question number five, what are the typical tasks performed by a safety engineer? Typical tasks performed by a safety engineer may include conducting hazard assessments, developing engineering controls, designing safety systems, analyzing safety data, performing safety-related calculations, reviewing equipment designs for safety compliance, and collaborating with other engineers and stakeholders to ensure safe and compliant systems and processes. Question number six, what are the key differences in the approach to safety between a safety officer and a safety engineer? While safety officers focus on implementing safety policies, procedures, and programs to ensure compliance with regulations and standards, safety engineers focus on designing and improving systems and equipment to eliminate or minimize hazards and risks. Safety officers typically work on the implementation of safety measures, while safety engineers work on the design and engineering aspects to prevent hazards from occurring in the first place. Question number seven, how do safety officers and safety engineers collaborate in the workplace? Safety officers and safety engineers often work closely together to ensure that safety policies and procedures are effectively implemented and that systems, processes, and equipment are designed and operated safely. They collaborate in conducting risk assessments, developing safety policies and procedures, analyzing safety data, and implementing engineering controls to mitigate risks. Question number eight, how do safety officers and safety engineers communicate with stakeholders about safety issues? Safety officers and safety engineers communicate with stakeholders in different ways. 
safety officers may communicate safety policies, procedures, and training to employees, conduct safety meetings, and liaise with regulatory agencies. Safety engineers, on the other hand, may communicate safety-related engineering designs, calculations. Question number nine, what are the key considerations for safety officers in managing workplace safety? Safety officers need to ensure that safety policies, procedures, and programs are effectively implemented and followed by employees. They need to conduct regular inspections, audits, and risk assessments to identify potential hazards and take corrective actions. They should also provide regular safety training to employees and maintain accurate safety records. Additionally, safety officers need to stay updated with relevant laws, regulations, and standards to ensure compliance and continuously improve workplace safety. Question number 10. What are the key considerations for safety engineers in designing safe systems and processes? Safety engineers need to thoroughly understand the potential hazards associated with systems, processes, and equipment and design appropriate engineering controls to eliminate or minimize those hazards. They need to ensure that equipment and systems meet relevant safety standards and guidelines, conduct thorough risk assessments, and perform safety-related calculations to ensure the safety of workers. Safety engineers also need to collaborate with other engineers and stakeholders to incorporate safety into the design process and continuously improve the safety of systems and processes. In conclusion, while safety officers and safety engineers both play crucial roles in managing workplace safety, there are key differences in their responsibilities. Safety officers focus on implementing safety policies, procedures, and programs, while safety engineers focus on designing safe systems, processes, and equipment. Effective collaboration between safety officers and safety engineers is essential for creating a safe work environment. By understanding and appreciating the unique roles of both safety officers and safety engineers, organizations can ensure comprehensive and effective workplace safety management. We hope that this video gives you a better understanding of health, safety, and the environment. If you have any queries, please leave a comment, and we would be glad to assist you. Check our website and our channel for more health, safety, and environmental topics. The link is in the description. Never forget health, safety, and environment are everyone's responsibility. Stay safe always. Bye-bye, see you in the next video.